Jay's a Dragon, and welcome to my build guide series where I will explain how to build the X-Men as playable characters in 5th edition Dungeons and Dragons. This video is timestamped so you can skip to where you need, with a link in the description for the written version. My disclaimers are as follows. Official, third party, UA, homebrew, in that order. Mechanics over description, flavor is always optional. Builds work in every tier of play. And lastly, magic items are not requirements for a build to work. You, you're an animal? It's not animal, mess. It's beast. A beast which happens to know a thing or two about the dynamic application of nano-effusive devices. Animal is a Muppet. Hank McCoy, aka Beast, founding X-Man, inventor, monster, diplomat, ferocious combatant, and a cautionary tale of ingenuity before caution. Beast contains multitudes, as much as any of the X-Men, in all the ways that make people love these stories. Using point by, I gave Beast 8, 15, 14, 8, 14, 12, with a plus 1 in dexterity and a plus 2 in wisdom. I use bugbear for race. Your fur is blue. Powerful build enables his incredible lifting strength. Long limb supports his highly evasive striking as well as his long freaking arms. Sneak attack, also from race, makes for a fantastic barrage of an arm strikes. Dark vision supports his heightened senses. Beast properly done would have to have a 20 at minimum in every stat, or at the very least strong skill checks in each category. Going down the list. Of strength, he has incredible lifting, jumping, and grappling. In dexterity, he has incredible acrobatics, dodging, and reaction time. In constitution, he has incredible stamina, toughness, and regeneration. In intelligence, he is a super genius in biochemistry and technology, among other fields of study. In wisdom, he is a super genius in medicine and has animal-like senses. And in Charisma, he is an eloquent and charming diplomat, as well as being downright terrifying. The Monk class gives him his core kit and spades, making him a fantastically mobile brawler. The Cobalt Soul subclass from Wildmount adds even more reaction uses for protection and retaliation, as well as a scholarly and diplomatic focus that suits him to a T. Knowledge Cleric offers an even greater range of fields of study, tool proficiency, language, and even peaceful pacifism, things that no good beast build would be complete without. These are taken after the monk levels, coinciding with beast starting as a deploying X-Man before gradually confining himself to a support role. That said, many of the control spells work even more powerfully with a martial core beneath it. Skill proficiency is known. Stealth earned as a bugbear. Insight, Persuasion, and Alchemist tools from the Guild Artisan background. Athletics and Acrobatics as a Monk. Investigation and History as a Cobalt Soul. Arcana and Nature Proficiency plus Expertise as a Knowledge Cleric. Cobalt Soul Monk. A Cobalt Soul Monk is a highly educated and analytical brawler, equally at home on a battlefield or a library. Cobalt happens to be blue as well. Monk Level 1. Martial Arts and Unarmored Defense. Beast is perfectly at home in fights equipped with nothing but a bathing suit. Monk Level 2, Key and Unarmored Movement. Stick and move with fantastic brawling and mobility. Monk Level 3, Extra Aspects. Enemies you strike with flurry of blows become analyzed, learn their vulnerabilities, resistances, and immunities. Additionally, when an analyzed creature misses you with an attack, you can make a reaction attack on them. And deflect missiles. Ranged attacks are reduced to zero and caught with ease. Monk level 4, ASI, gain plus 2 dexterity. And slow fall, expertly tumble from great falls as naturally as walking. Monk level 5, extra attack. And stunning strike. Pinpoint the nerve clusters on an enemy to momentarily stun them. Monk level 6. Extort truth. When making contact with a creature, spend one key point to force a charisma saving throw. On a failed save, your target is unable to speak a lie and your charisma checks have advantage on them. It lasts for 10 minutes. And mystical erudition. Learn an additional language and an intelligence skill or expertise. 
Monk level 7, gain evasion. Monk level 8, ASI, plus 2 wisdom. Monk level 9, climb walls at great speed. And monk level 10, purity of body, inoculate and treat any disease with Krikoan medicine. Monk level 11, mind of mercury. Once per turn, spend one key point to have an additional reaction. This can occur on every single ally or enemy's turns if you're willing to spend the key for it. And mystical erudition. Learn an additional language and an int skill or expertise again. Monk level 12, ASI, gain plus two dex. Monk level 13, tongue of the sun and moon. A friendly telepath enables universal understanding regardless of language, helping you with diplomatic efforts. Monk level 14, Diamond Soul. Gain proficiency in all saves with a one key cost to reroll failed saves. Knowledge Cleric. Step fully into Beast's role as a multidisciplinary scientist and doctor. Level 1. Gain proficiency and expertise in both arcana and nature. Cantrips learned are Guidance. Adding 1d4 to any of his many skills as well as initiative. Mending. Take an object to your shop for repair. Thaumaturgy. Roar menacingly with a powerfully enhanced voice. First level spells. Command. Speak with persuasive authority. Identify. View a sample under your microscope. Detect magic. Run minor experiments to unveil the truth of subtle effects. Bless. Focus your speed for better striking and evading. Healing word. Help an ally rally from unconsciousness. Second level cleric, channel divinity to gain any skill or tool proficiency as you devote your time to your current object of study. First level spell gained, sanctuary, protect an ally under a projected shield device while you get them to safety. Third level cleric, second level spells, augury, contemplate a course of action and provide wise counsel. Suggestion, talk down would be aggressors with calm counsel. And lesser restoration, Administer antidotes and other first aid. Fourth level cleric. Gain an ASI, plus two wisdom. Gain a cantrip, light. Place a mini flare to aid visibility. Second level spells. Blindness, deafness. Throw a flashbang at an enemy. And hold person. Hold an enemy in stasis with an electric binding. Fifth level cleric. Non-detection. Cloak a person or piece of equipment with a signal scrambling device. Speak with dead. Perform an autopsy with your lab equipment. Spirit shroud. Strike powerfully and hinder escapes. Sixth level cleric. Channel divinity to intuit motives before prescribing a course of action. Two channel divinity uses per short rest. And gain a third level spell. Revivify. Resuscitate a fallen ally with defibrillators from your medkit. Magic items wishlist. Insignia of claws to add to unarmed strikes. Racers of defense for adding to AC. A strength boosting item such as ogre gauntlets or giant's belt. A headband of intellect to gain a 19 intelligence. Any tomes or manuals to also help to his stats. And cleric spell scrolls such as legend lore or summon celestial. Tactics. Beast is a highly mobile battlefield controller that is difficult to counter and even harder to kill. While he doesn't carry any dedicated ranged attacks, cleric spells described as gadgetry usually come with a generous range. With his enhanced strength and step of the wind, he can jump 45 feet after a 10 foot running start, tripling that with standard and bonus action dashes if he needed to. Something I enjoy is describing unarmed flurries as either a barrage of strikes against one or several opponents, or as a single massive knockout blow, using the total damage of each hit that beat AC as what that one strike dealt. Beast using his bugbear reach can attack from 10 feet before pulling back for an evasive approach, or push right to 5 feet and possibly punish an enemy with reaction strikes when they miss him with an attack or attempt to retreat. Flurries can be used to push more attacks to finish quickly, especially with the added 2d6 per hit on targets that haven't acted in initiative yet. Flurries also reveal to you the immunities, resistances, and vulnerabilities of your enemies, and provide to you an additional reaction strike opportunities, costing another one key for each extra reaction you wish to use. 
Control effects greatly enhances martial abilities and come in a variety to suit a range of scenarios and defenses. Hold person targets wisdom and its autocriticals are deadly with your unarmed strikes. Blindness targets constitution and can be disastrous, particularly to casters that need to see a target. Spirit Shroud blocks healing as well as a little bit of speed, and Bless can be ideal when facing higher ACs or many saving throws, and neither option is reliant on the enemy failing a save at all. Stunning Strike is cheap to use, cheap to recharge, and doesn't interfere with action economy while attacking. Grappling is strongest on opponents with neither high strength nor dexterity, most typically casters. Grappling robs them of their action when trying to escape, and further uses to prone, disarm, lift, throw, or more could follow. Arguably, his most powerful option is the combination of Cobalt Soul and Knowledge Domain. Channel Divinity Read Thoughts gives you details on the surface thoughts of a creature for one minute. Cobalt Soul's Extort Truth prevents deliberate lies and gives you advantage on charisma checks. The two features combined means a target can be compelled to bear their soul while being pliable to your persuasions. When you are ready, you get a free cast of suggestion with no saving throw accompanied. You could literally change an opponent's life. You have this available twice at short rest. This concludes my guide on how to play Beast. As just a fun extra, if you were to build a mini of him, this is how he might look. I do hope you've enjoyed this. If you have any thoughts on what you do to improve it, questions, or if you've played it, feedback on how it went, or anything else, please leave a comment. Definitely subscribe and ring the bell icon for notifications as I have many more builds on the way. And as always, thank you for watching. Yo, pick a side, pick your poison.